All right, this is the place. This is where it all started, did the very first ride on the Sea-Doo. But the adventure actually started when I first picked it up 24 hours earlier at Energy Power Sports in Oakville, which is where I purchased uh, the Sea-Doo from and who I uh, endorse in, uh, very much for anyone who's interested in getting a Sea-Doo, Energy Power Sports, Oakville. But anyway, the very first ride took place right here. Right there is where I launched it. Much colder than what it was last time I was here. Anyway, this is where the very first launch took place uh, with my sea uh back in May. The very first ride, and it was an eventful ride at that. So anyway, uh, welcome to today's video. My name is Nigel, the channel is Nigel's Street Vlogs, and today with my sea Life Adventures Season 1. We're probably going to put this over uh, two videos, break it up, and what I'm going to be showing you is the uh, highlights of each vlog we did, each ride, and then, so we'll show you a few highlights, then I'll add in some unseen footage, and if there's any bloopers, we'll throw them in too. So uh, there you go. So today is trying to snow, you might be able to see it trying to fall right now. It is bitterly cold, uh, far cry from what it was back in May when the very first time I rode, it was like 13 degrees Celsius, I think it was down here. Uh, but right now it's minus one with a very cold wind chill factor. And just over there, there is a snow squall going right over to Buffalo. So uh, there you have it. So this is, um, Part one of my Studio Life Adventures, season one. Episode number one, my first ever ride. All right, all ready to go. My first adventure. Hey guys. Hey, hey. Now have a look. <laughs> yes, we're ready to rock and roll. I am nervous, because uh, this is quite powerful, just by touching it. So, uh, yeah, here it goes. It's, uh, <laughs> it's trying to christen me here. We're going straight out? Yeah. Sure? All right, there it goes. This was the moment I finally waited for for a long time to finally ride the Sea-Doo for the very first time. So this is it, pulling away for the very, very first time. I thought it was a bit of a slow start. Six months of waiting. And I finally got it. Here it goes. So many a good adventures. Woohoo! After 10, 15 minutes or so of going left, right, stop, start in the bay there, Andrew led me out onto Lake Erie a bit further out. Then eventually he said, let's go down to uh, the Niagara River. Come on, let's do it. So he went, we headed down that way, but was I ready for it? never been down here even on a boat so this is all new to me holy shit this is really pulling me okay i'm not, I'm not experienced enough for this yet <laughs> i'm gonna check it out that one. Oh yeah so coming back up on me whoa oh you went close to that he was close. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, it sucks in. Abort! Abort! That's right, you heard correct, I aborted. Yep, I chickened out, so straight back out onto Lake Erie uh, for a ride up towards Port Coburn. Then after about an hour or so, something bad happened. Very bad. What happened there? This ain't good. <laughs> um, CD just died. It says press start, but nothing happens. Gee. It's gonna be a long ride home. My first day out had turned into an utter disaster, but you know what? It was a massive learning curve. I learned a lot and I'm very, very grateful for Andrew and his friends that were there to help, help me out and get me towed back to shore. There you go, here's some unseen footage that never made it into the original video. Whoa, looks like I'm gonna fall off in a minute. <laughs> Easy, son! Easy! 
Okay, at this very moment in time, we're about three or four minutes into the tow. I realized we weren't meant to go in this fast. I was holding on for dear life, but I managed to signal the, the, the rider beside me and ask him to uh, go ahead and uh, let the tow uh, rider know that I'm struggling back in. Eventually, we slowed down, got a bigger rope on there, and did a much slower speed. But I can tell you this, on a cold May day on the water, my wetsuit worked. Episode number two, The Welland River with Andrew. The idea failed on the uh, Saturday. I had it back in the shop on Monday, picked it up on Tuesday. A very quick turnaround for Energy Power Sports, thank you very much. Then I was back out on the water with Andrew on Tuesday. And we're doing The Welland River in Chippewa up by Niagara. All right, we just pulled up. There's a little dock there, but we just pulled up a little bit here. And he's gone to right, he's just run to Tim Hortons, which is uh, directly behind me. Grab a coffee before we continue up the river. Um, I didn't put my uh, wetsuit boots on today. I didn't think I'd be in the water that much, but oh my God, that water's cold. I was in it for like 30 seconds, just getting out and like <clears throat> my feet in them. So yeah, this is uh, Chippewa River, Chippewa Creek. Welland River, whichever you want to call it. All right, we just took a little rest bite. All right, we're just literally slowly floating down the river. So our engines are off. Not as much of a strong current on this one, so you can just actually quite relax and just like, roll around. It's nice. Two an hour oh, yeah, two. I'm looking at the, the line over there. Two, three max. It's really nice. Beautiful day. Still a long way to go down there. Way down there somewhere will be the QEW. But check out this railway bridge. It's rusty old iron bridge. Check it out, amazing. Oh, so it did used to rotate, look at this. Now this is where they're doing the construction. This is the uh, Queen Elizabeth Highway, the QEW. Uh, Ford Erie is to your left and Niagara Falls is to your right. So the, this is the new bit they've completed and they're now working on the second one. And we're gonna go uh, right underneath it. This, just doing this, it's priceless. This is freaking awesome. We've just floated up there. Probably floated like a couple hundred meters so far. They're really slow pace, like three kilometers an hour. It is like, what do they call it? The Mexican Lazy River. <laughs> It's like the lazy river. Oh yeah. <laughs> it really is. We've got some people down here, some kids and a family. Looks like they're having a picnic by the water, which is nice. But this is just beautiful. Idiot me, while going through all this footage, has realized I deleted a couple of files. Uh, this one and another one. So there's no extra footage, unfortunately, to show you. So we'll just let me do with the highlights. Episode number three, a very cold Port Coburn and a much warmer Niagara River. So we've had a really mixed bag of weather over the last couple of days here in Southern Ontario. Um, we went from snow to warm weather in literally 24, 36 hours. And uh, I rode in it, basically. Uh, so that's where the video is going. So we're gonna start the video on Friday, Friday late afternoon down in Port Coburn. And then when we, after I've shown you that little bit, we'll then skip to Sunday, because Saturday I went out, didn't video it because it was too rough and I didn't spend much time out. Then on Sunday, I was out again, and I was out with another sea -Doo rider with a very similar model to mine, and he's actually the person who gave me the idea to get this particular model. It's only four degrees, and I swear to God, I saw a snowflake falling as I drove here, but uh, Andrew's dragging me out in the rain, because we've got to get to see uh, sea -Doo's out, so here goes. All right, we're ready to venture out. That Muppet behind me's dragged me out today. Look at it, it's all cheated out today. <laughs> I need a helmet. This thing is smushing my nose. <laughs> if this gets too wet, I do have a ball. I have a wetsuit hat to put on. As I mentioned a few moments ago, I uh, lost some footage on a couple of videos, and this is that other video. So no uh, extra footage, 
Uh, unseen footage or bloopers, it's just me in Port Coburn with Andrew and then the Niagara River with Mark from Forest Sand. I'm in. Nice. <laughs> How's the drum? Uh, it's gonna take a slow, I'll let you lead us when you're done right here. Holy shit, all right. Nine feet. Pretty cool, right? I think so anyway. This is Paul Coburn for you on a rainy cold day. Uh, behind me is uh, Mark Forrest from Forest Sound. Uh, we'll catch up with him later on. Uh, we're going to be doing an exploration down the Niagara River later on, but first of all, he just wants to go up the river here at Chippewa, the Welland River, which is where I was the other day, and he wants to do some drone footage because uh, there is a ship coming across the canal shortly, so we're going to try and capture that. This is late spring in Ontario for you. One day cold and snowy and the next warm and sunny. All right, this is the, uh, the mouth of the Niagara River from Chippewa. Niagara Falls, just over there. We can't go past these white buoys. Uh, we're gonna head over here. Uh, US is where that bridge is. And there's Navy Island as well in front of us. And we're gonna go down the river on the... Uh, I think it's the south side, but this bridge is fascinating. It's just the same, there's a train right now coming over it. Today on this particular ride is the very, very first time I go underneath the Peace Bridge here on the Niagara River. There is such a strong current here. It doesn't help with the really strong winds too. Uh, getting bashed around quite a lot here. You got some good swells here now. Whoa! <laughs> been telling me a few tricks because yeah, he has the same model as me but a couple of years older so he's actually told me a few tricks and now I figured out how to use cruise control so I can actually film with his hand rather than hold with his hand all the time see you learn something new every day that was a good day six hours started at 9 30 and it's now 3 30 in the afternoon so uh, yeah we did pretty good there Episode 4, Hamilton Harbour and Burlington Bay. Good morning to you all and welcome to another adventure, uh, My CD Life Adventures, episode number 4. Episode number 4 had me travelling down to Hamilton for my first ride on the Hamilton Harbour and Burlington Bay. And what I can tell you about Hamilton is, it stinks. It really does stink. Full of bird poop. There's bird poop everywhere. So we're going to get out of this area very shortly. Go just explore it. It's uh, very choppy in the channel here coming through. Um, as you can tell, I'm bouncing around quite a lot, <laughs> so uh, it's pretty rough. And some people like playing in the waves, I guess. <laughs> Alright, behind me is the uh, Canadian Scam steamship lines uh, delivering, which I'd imagine will be uh, coal or uh, some kind of ore. So anyway, this is a yeah, DeFasco steel plant. Uh, it's been here since 1912. Uh, back then it was named uh, the Dominion something. And at one point I believe there used to be three steel factories and now there's only two. They're in operation. Uh, this is DeFasco and the other one around the corner we'll see very shortly is Stelco. Um, it stinks around here. There is a chemical plant just up there and the smell from the steel factory and it really, really does pong. Oh, I gotta get out of that. That is nasty. <laughs> It was like really, really like getting the back of my throat. Oh, now I put this on, the stop. <laughs> it disappeared. Just over there is the World War II um, warship. Just imagine 
been on that in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I thoroughly enjoyed the ride around Hamilton Harbour. Unfortunately, the highlights just don't do it any justice. But it really was a good day out, even though it was choppy. On this particular ride, I was joined uh, by fellow Sea Dew rider Nick and his girlfriend Dana, who I have to say were really, really great to ride with. Really enjoyed their company that day. Uh, back in the choppier waters and uh, near the end of the, this adventure around Billington Bay, Hamilton Harbour. Episode 5. Buffalo Air Show. All right, we're back on the water here at Fort Erie for another adventure. We're going to hopefully try and get the air show going. Uh, brought the wife with me today, so I'll see if she can hang on long enough. So we'll head out to the water, down to the bridge, and see what we can see. Let's go. show is going to happen it's going to happen right around here uh, that is Fort Erie the old fort there's several hundred people maybe a couple of thousand even just lined all the way along the waterfront there uh, the actual air show takes place in Buffalo which is just over here on their waterfront so we're on the Canadian side oh getting a lot of water in just have to pump that out and um, yeah we're just waiting for the weather to clear and hopefully we'll get some jets oh my lord Jesus, Nigel. It's not my fault the thing's turning around. <laughs> okay, we seem to be turning around a little bit. This particular shot I captured was absolutely epic. It really, really was. That is insane. <laughs> oh my god! Jeez! On the air show over two days the 19th and 20th of june uh, my wife was with me on the, the first trip and then my friend rick joined us on the Hello, second America. day and the weather was much better on that particular day Here we go again. Your sprays. Oh, coming in fast. Oh, shit, I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, what an entrance. What an entrance. <laughs> He's just running down all the way from Port Coburn to see the end of the air show. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> no! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> that was awesome! Jesus! <laughs> oh, that shows up just as good. I think it did. Seriously, I thought he was coming right at us. Like for a little split second, I nearly pooped my pants. Uh, then he pulled out and I was like, whew, it was close. But that was brilliant. Sick. Oh, no way. <laughs> Check this out. A big wake. Uh, 
power boat just went past us, so we're gonna start rocking again. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but literally hundreds and hundreds of boats are just exited from the uh, Buffalo Harbor here, and they're all heading back down the Niagara River. It is wild. Now we're making most of the use of these uh, buoys that people have put out. Looks like they've anchored them and left them here. There's like several here, there and a couple over here. So we've tied onto them. It's pretty cool. Stops us from drifting way down the river. Uh, yesterday when I was here, I was drifting pretty fast. I just drank a Diet Coke so I'm a bit burpy. <coughs> Whew, okay, that's gone. All right, this is the, uh, the boat ramp here at Crystal Beach. This is where I did most of my launches from. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to see you, one of the dreams I had was to go out there and actually try and capture a water spout out on Lake Erie. And unfortunately, it never really happened. But there was one storm back at the beginning of July uh, where the weather went pretty cool briefly and it actually generated quite a lot of uh, scud in the sky and possible chances of water spouts. So I took the sea dew out, went out really far out on the lake and whilst I was out there, another storm came from over in Buffalo, came all the way around, and it ended up chasing me all the way back to shore, and it ended up being one massive thunderstorm. A bit like this. This ended up being a really, really good ride. It highlights how quickly Lake Erie can change on you. I started off in fairly good conditions, and there's no marine warning out right then, uh, but within minutes of this being filmed, uh, the water change to this. All right, a little choppy out here. Um, get a little bit closer to it. We're way back that way, about five kilometers now. All right, we're pretty much close to the US border right here, so I'm not gonna go any further. And, uh, we'll sit here and wait. And wait. I might even have a coffee while I'm waiting. I did bring coffee. Oh my God, look at these white caps just appear from nowhere. Oh, can you hear it? Yeah, it really just intensified right now. So uh, I may have to head back towards Crystal Beach in a little bit. I'll show you with this camera. This camera's just looking at me. So that's what we're looking at. And that little bit here seems to be pushing my way. In fact, I can see it growing as I just sit here. On this weather adventure, I learned pretty quickly that it's not advisable to drink coffee while operating your sea dew, especially in choppy waters, which is pretty hard to do. Oop. Try again. Oop. There we go, a little spillage right there, a little spillage. Oh. And a burp. I went from chasing a storm to the one being chased by the storm. Unbelievable. Uh, I had to make a bit of a dash back to land, 
uh, as the storm uh, uh, grew in size and it rapidly did grow and by the time I got to shore, which I'll show you very, very shortly, it was a massive storm. I don't like being sat in this big black one. Oh, actually, it's blue sky and me. But look at the size of that big thundercloud. I've got to watch out for that because that really can spark a light. So that's why I'm going to start pushing back shortly. This one. Someone's in difficulty. I don't know where. Uh, apparently a kayak is in distress. The other side of the lighthouse. Lord knows what a kayak is doing out in this weather. Uh, they now have to risk their life to go and find this person. Growing up by an ocean, you learn very quickly, you have to respect the water, you really, really do. Uh, I learned to push myself, get my confidence back after my sea do issue with the IDF, and I finally felt confident on my sea do at long last. And uh, being out in that water, I wasn't scared one little bit. The weather deteriorated pretty badly here, very quickly. Uh, rescue boat bringing someone back in. It wasn't a kayaker, it was actually a speedboat. It looks like it's being towed back in. Uh, these guys are having a hard time getting ready to come back in too. But so, severe weather warning has been issued over uh, at the Buffalo side. Uh, Rich has gone to get my truck so I can get out of here for a while. The winds are just too much right now. So it's on the safe side, I'm going to take it in until he dies down. Okay. The windows are open. If you're new to boating or personal watercraft, keep this in mind at all times. The Great Lakes, even the ocean, can change within seconds, especially the Great Lakes. Great Lakes are notorious for the change of weather within minutes, from being calm to rough like this. And it is a life changer, it really can be. Now, if you want to see how much rain we've just got in the last uh, couple of minutes, check this out. <laughs> that was empty a minute ago. <laughs> fucking water everywhere. Look at it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there has been plenty of rides over the summer where I've taken my camera with me, tried to make a vlog, and never really used it because nothing materialized. And that's one of these videos right now. I'm going to show you some of the clips. This is us coming back from Morgan's Point, uh, which is down Lake Erie. Uh, myself, my wife, and uh, Andrew. And uh, a bit of a storm cell has really just appeared next to us. So we're going to have to try and outrun it back to Crystal Beach and just over towards Buffalo. There's another one. So we're kind of sandwiched, but this one's making a beeline. Uh, radar is showing it coming right across this way, right across the shoreline. We're probably just skirting past Crystal Beach and then heading out over to the States. quickly and uh, we're not halfway back yet so the race is who can get to crystal beach first those are the storm all right we made it to point abino and uh the storm right now is completely uh looks like it's pouring down in port coburn where we were what a great picture 
We just do video like that. I can take a picture of it. Hello, darling wife. Darling Perfect. What we was trying to do is take a photograph, but we couldn't. So I decided to do a video. We'll just take a still footage from the video. It's easier. So that's what we're doing, just goofing around. Aww. It's not as easy as you think, vlogging and operating a CDU at the same time. As my wife found out as I gave her the camera and told her to uh, get some video footage of me uh, operating the CDU. She didn't do very well. Did hold it steady enough to get this nice little shot right at the end. Beautiful. All right, wifey, give me back the camera, and I'll show you how the professional does it. here it's Crystal Beach uh, the back end of it is really far away and the front end is just just approaching this area right now but uh, safety is in sight coming up on my CDU life adventures highlights of 2021 part 2 I take on the Niagara River but how do I make out whoa whoa I ain't stuck right in I head north for the first time I meet up with Mark who takes me around Paris Sound. Been riding non-stop now for nearly an hour. Lunch. On the go. Toronto and Toronto Island. <laughs> They're staring at me. Some guy in a red top runs off with my sea do whilst I test drive the GTX 300 Limited. Whilst we're down at long point for the day. Made it to the lighthouse. Plus more adventures like this. Back to go right up as far forward as possible. I'd like to get that Durrell in behind you. And much, much more. All on the next episode of my CBU Life Adventures highlights of 2021, part two. We just lost one! Can I get out of here? Can I get out of here? Thumbs up! <laughs> we lost both! Hi T! I got all y'all, pass it to you, hang on. <laughs> <laughs>